What's going on guys? This is Burrs here to talk to you today about my favorite pant. This is the Cool Revolver Pant. I wear this outdoors. I wear this pretty much anywhere I can get away with it. I really like this pant for multiple reasons. It's breathable, it's durable, it's super lightweight. So let's get down to some of the specifics here. Um, I'm just going to read right from their website. You know, They say by blending a 26% nylon into an ultra lightweight 5.1 ounce per square yard comb cotton canvas, they give you the lightweight comfort and breathability of a cotton with the added durability of nylon. And I can attest that. You know, I took this out in the Appalachian Trail. I've taken this out to actually, you know, go to the gun range, and as you can see, there's really nothing. Looks like I have a stain here, but you know that's not the uh, um, fault of the pant. But I mean, there's no, you know, abrasion or anything, tears or anything like that. You can see all over it. There's really nothing uh, like that going on. It's very lightweight. You know, if you had, I only have one pair of these, but if you had two pair of these and you threw this in your backpack if you were looking to pack two pairs of pants you definitely get away with this very easily because you know it's super lightweight so what you're looking here is it has scuff guards double layered scuff guard you know, at the cuffs the pockets for uh, lots of durability the other thing that i really 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 like is the gusseted crotch and the articulated knees you know the way they do this this crotch area and uh, you know, you, I'm sure if you've used pants before, you know that if you're in certain situations where you're, you know, just as an example, if I'm at the gun range and I'm doing, you know, certain positions and moving and I need to be super mobile, you know, having a, a crotch area on a pant that is very tight or not very, um, you know, m uh, maneuverable, you know, it can really screw up your game. And, you know, even when you're out hiking and you're trying to climb up, you know, rocks, you're trying to climb, climb up uh, ravines, etc., etc. You know, you, get, you need a lot of mobility. And having a pant, it doesn't have to be this pant, but that's one thing you need to look for in pants is mobility. And having a crotch that's able to be, you know, moved around and, and manipulated, uh, uh, the pant crotch, not your crotch being manipulated, if I can just uh, explain myself a little better there. <laughs> But um, it also has the uh, articulated knees. You can see that it's definitely uh, sewed a lot different than some pants that you'll see on the market today. And as far as the durability goes, like I said, this really is super durable. I've worn this a ton. I've washed it a ton. And as you can see, you know, nothing's coming off of this or falling apart. And quite frankly, it shouldn't for the price, which is $60-some dollars. I never paid that much for uh, a pant. But I said to myself that I really wanted a pant that's going to, you know, last me a while and that's going to, you know, get me through the things that I need. So I went ahead and uh, got it. So let's take a look here at some of the closer things. The only thing I, I really, really do not like is it's made in China. But beyond that, if we can look beyond that, you know, here's some of the tags that come with it. You can see that on this pant, I'm a 36, 32. I'm usually a 34, but I wanted a little bit of uh, comfort. So I wanted the 36, figuring that it was cotton, it's gonna shrink a little bit. And I don't really dry some stuff, and I don't dry these pants when I wash them, and it hasn't shrunk at all. As far as the crotch goes, it's called a born free gusseted crotch. So it adds fabric panels to allow you to be free. So as far as the snap goes here, this is, I believe it's called an Italian snap. It's much different than um, what you would see on other snaps. So it's basically a flat, snap on the front here okay so it keeps you you know nice and comfortable and it has an, an added uh, button in, on the inside that you can use to further secure your crotch <laughs> the zipper goes up you know relatively nicely I've never had any problems with the zipper getting caught or anything like that that works fine but um, like I said this is really made very well as you can see here here's some of the specifics Articulated knees, born free gusseted crotch, reinforced scuff guard, uber cool, which means that it's going to be um, nice and breathable. The Italian snap, it doesn't dig into you. 3D cell phone pocket, which I'll get to here. The uh, free ride waist, which is a better fit. I don't really notice that though, the free ride waist. Um, you know, I had to go up a, a size. Ergonomically designed fit. It is very ergonomic. I can definitely uh, attest to that. Getting to the 3D pocket here on the sides, 
I don't know what 3D actually means. I think it's overused in today's society. But I hate, I absolutely hate pockets that are open and I've used my iPhone in here and I hate the fact that it's flopping around in there. I really don't see the need for this. And actually, if they had a, just a pocket with either maybe another Italian snap or something right here that was just a pocket, I would appreciate that better than this open um, thing. I'm not a huge fan of this and I don't, honestly, I don't even use it. I thought when I got it, I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. I put my cell phone in there and I saw on there video where they were talking about this pant that the guy was like rock climbing with his cell phone in here. I don't trust this at all. I'm sure it works perfectly fine. And it never came out for me, but I was hiking on the Appalachian Trail with my phone in there for about a minute and I was like, I'm not a big fan of that at all. So I'm not a big fan of this pocket. I think it's just, um, you know, uh, I'm sure it's useful, but for me, I don't like things flopping around. And that's what happens when you put your phone in here. With the exception of that, I really like this uh, pant a lot. It, like I said, it is my go-to. I can get, I can wear it where, you know, if I can get away with it, I'm wearing it. It's very comfortable. So, if you guys are looking for a great outdoor pant, I definitely recommend this cool revolver. You know, it's a lightweight, which is what I like. I don't like heavy pants. Very lightweight. And it's on the down low. You know, it's not something that you're going to get that's going to look like a 511 TAC Light Pro and all that crap. You know, these are the kind of pants I like to wear. I don't like to, like, wear all those tactical pants. And this is a, you know, a pretty technical pant that I can get away with looking pretty normal on the streets also if you're looking for a tactical pant. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have any cool pants, and I don't mean C-O-O, -O, I mean K-U-H-L, go ahead and put it in the comments or better yet video response. And until next time, later.